Hey, North Liberty. It is uh, time for a little face neck action again this time around. Um, I want to talk about snow. Two different, two different snowy topics. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is our snow emergency uh, ordinance here at the city. Um, what it means is uh, if we get uh, two inches of snow, then it automatically goes into effect. Or if uh, the mayor or his appointee declares it so, um, we go under a snow emergency so that we can uh, plow the streets. Um, and uh, you are required to not park on the street so that we can do that. Um, if you continue to leave your car on the street, we will uh, plow you in, give you a ticket uh, for, up to 20, for $25 every uh, 12 hours, or uh, just tow you. Um, so it's important that you uh, move your car uh, off, of the, uh, off the street, because uh, nobody wants to uh, go out to get into their car, uh, only to find it plowed in uh, or towed. Don Colony, our street supervisor, uh, street's superintendent, he supervises the street superintending or something or whatever. I don't know. Uh, he would also love it if you guys would, uh, if you're right there by a storm drain, if you just poke a little hole uh, into the storm drain so that uh, as the snow melts, it can, it can drain off without causing huge ice dams. That's perfect. Um, and if you want to dig out around any uh, fire hydrants uh, on your property, he would appreciate that too. Um, we all here at the city would appreciate that. And uh, if your house catches on fire, uh, you'd appreciate that too. The other thing I wanted to touch on today was uh, snowmobiling. Um, do be aware that uh, in the winter with snow, there can be snowmobilers uh, out near the streets uh, and crossing the intersections. If you are a snowmobiler, do recognize that uh, you're required to uh, only drive your snowmobile in North Liberty uh, to leave or enter the city and you, that you're required to take the most direct route possible. Um, not all the streets are in North Liberty are snowmobilable, uh, mostly the main thoroughfares, um, and again, to get you uh, out of town as directly and quickly as possible. And uh, you can't do it uh, before 6 in the morning any day of the week. Um, you can't do it after midnight on the weekends or um, after 10.30 on uh, the weekdays. So be safe, shovel, don't park on the street, and don't snowmobile. And uh, have, uh, have happy holidays, Kwanzaa, Christmas, Hanukkah, winter solstice, whatever, whatever floats your boat. And uh, we'll see you in the new year. So North Liberty is really excited to be celebrating their 100th birthday, which will take place in November of 2013. So in order to celebrate all the great things that North Liberty has to offer, we're a young community, but we're really powerful and really growing. So we wanted to celebrate that all year long. So this past November, a couple weeks ago, we launched our logo that corresponds with the social media that we have going on with it. So our slogan for the year is to celebrate the centennial. And we kick off with our first event in January, One Book, Two Book, which is something that's taken place in the past with the corridor area libraries. So we really just wanted to be a part of that event and kind of taking the North Liberty Library to the next level. We will have bouncy house and lots of other family friendly activities to take place in the gymnasium at the rec center that is of course attached with the library and really that's the spirit of the centennial is to take advantage of the great things that are going on in North Liberty but also we have some special events as well in February where we will be encouraging the community to write a valentine to the city of North Liberty and we'll work on compiling all of those and sharing them with all of the community again through our social media outlets Facebook we have a website Twitter etc so I think that'll be really fun for everybody to see what everyone else loves about North Liberty and maybe learn new things about the community that they didn't know about before so to wrap up the first quarter in March we'll be having a youth talent show um, so certainly start dusting off those skills and practicing and that will take place at the Grace Community Church just on the outskirts of North Liberty. Those are the the first three things that we have planned and certainly more to come and we'll announce as we go. Social media is a great place to start. We have a really good Facebook page already going. Uh, I think we have over a couple hundred likes already so that is 100 Years of North Liberty is the title of that Facebook page and we also have a Twitter handle it's North Liberty 100 and we have a Tumblr page, which for those of you who might not be familiar, it's essentially a website. So as an end user, it'll look just like a website. 
um, but you can find it through Tumblr if you're familiar with that uh, social media outlet. So lastly, if you have any questions, again, uh, social media is a great place to ask those. We also have an email, which is northliberty100 at gmail.com. And if you want to learn more and become involved, we, of course, are always looking for volunteers, whether it be uh, helping plan or just um, when you hear an event and you want to be involved with your time on those on those dates and places that works too as another way to get involved and certainly if you're a local business owner and want to participate in anything um, let us know an example of um, to kind of get your wheels turning to think about that Isaac's Creamery here in North Liberty is doing an ice cream contest so you can basically create your own concoction of ice cream and they'll be selling it through their spring and summer season and it'll be the North Liberty Centennial ice cream flavor of the season. Um, so that's taking part now. So if you're a business owner and, and you're, you're getting excited by hearing things like that, certainly contact us and, and we'll find a way to make you a part of the Centennial as well. Yes, we have some new piece of equipment upstairs, um, mainly all cardio equipment, but between treadmills, ellipticals, bikes, steppers, we added 12 new pieces of cardio equipment upstairs. We have not at this time taken out any of the old. We're keeping everything through our busy season, so through March, we're keeping everything up there. Um, so definitely patrons, let us know your views on if you feel crowded or whatever. Uh, because we want to hear that, but come March, then we might be cycling out some of the older stuff, um, especially like the blue Nautilus equipment. We might take those weight stations out, and then any of the cardio equipment that we have some pieces up there from 97, we may also uh, eliminate those or start changing out on a regular basis the older equipment. Like I said, a lot of the equipment that we are placing was 97 equipment, and just with technology, everything changes. Um, new bells and whistles. Uh, the concept's the same on treadmills, basically to run and walk on, but there are additional features as well. We did get transmitters uh, to hook up with the TVs, uh, a little more better reception than what we've used in the past, and so hopefully that feature will add to the user's likes on using the equipment when they're here at the facility. With all the equipment that we have upstairs, uh, one of the things we want to hear is from patrons on what they like, what they dislike. That's how we will promote new pieces getting either purchased or changing out those that are most popular. Um, for the blue equipment upstairs, it's the Nautilus weight stations. Um, we're going to have probably clipboards on those pieces because we do see a few people still using it, but if there's not a lot of use on certain pieces, those are going to be the first to go. And then also with the old or new equipment, if there's features that you like, if you ever experience problems, please bring it to front desk's attention so we can resolve uh, repairs or operations quickly and try and keep up with the demand and use of those pieces of equipment. I would say once winter hits, when people can't run or walk, enjoy the outdoors, they immediately come indoors. So hopefully all these pieces of equipment will meet that demand because at times Monday through Friday, especially 4.30 to 9 o'clock when we close. It is our busiest time of the season, busiest area of the facility being used. We still have the track, and that is heavily used once winter hits for people that just want to walk. Uh, but again, it's nice to have that new pieces of equipment up there to meet that demand and maybe even trigger those that are just walking to maybe start utilizing fitness equipment. Uh, the library is under construction, which is affecting our main front entrance. Um, it's behind schedule. It was supposed to be four to five weeks. Uh, from my understanding, it is behind. But as soon as we can get a, at least a temporary entry, we will have that uh, south side of the building back open. But unfortunately, at that time, again, we ask all patrons come through the north side of the building, uh, use the north parking lot instead of the south so you don't have to walk all the way around. Um, it will probably be a challenge as we go just because if we happen to have a harsh winter with snow and ice and all that, uh, we're going to try and keep the north open as much as possible and unfortunately on busy days they might have to park on the west side of the building or on the south parking lot. So. Kaplinger here, Communications Director for the City of North Liberty. 
I'm here to tell you about the city's website, NorthLibertyIowa.org. Now, if you're not familiar with the website, there's a lot of great information there. You can find out about special events, get some city news, lots of photos, and see tons of videos. Now, having all of this information on the website helps save paper, and it helps you have resources available at the touch of your fingertips. So again, that's NorthLibertyIowa.org. And not only can you find out information on our website, you can also like us, friend us, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. That, of course, is username North Liberty. So, let's get a little bit more specific of what kind of information you can find on the website. Information like the Rec Center's brochure, special events, photos from Breakfast with Santa, haunted happenings, as well as finding out about snow emergencies or when to put your leaves to the curb for pickup. All of that information is there, as well as live streaming of NLTV. So, say you want to see a council meeting. You can watch it live instead of going to council chambers. Or if you miss it, you can always refer to our on-demand and watch the videos then. That goes for all of our council and commission meetings. So it's a wonderful resource to see all the videos, get lots of photos, and find out lots of information. Okay, write it down one more time. NorthLibertyIowa.org like us, friend us, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Have any questions? You can always email us. Just send something to us at webmaster at northlibertyiowa.org and we'll gladly answer your questions. Happy birthday, North Liberty. It looks like it's going to be a fun 2013 with all the centennial activities. I'm looking forward to it and very proud to be a part of it. North Liberty, you're like a fine wine. You just keep getting better with age. Happy 100th birthday. Happy birthday, North Liberty, from the Gardner Elementary Walking School Bus. Happy birthday, North Liberty. I probably shouldn't tell you this, but you're looking a little bigger these days. Happy birthday, North Liberty. Happy birthday, North Liberty. You've been so welcoming to the University of Iowa Community Credit Union. We appreciate being here and we love our friends and neighbors in the community. Happy birthday, North Liberty. You're a great place to call home. Happy birthday, North Liberty. You've come a long way, baby, in the last hundred years. Hey North Liberty, the calendar says that you're turning 100 years old, but you look so young. Happy 100th birthday, North Liberty. Happy birthday, North Liberty, from the North Liberty Community Pantry. Thank you for making our wish come true. Happy birthday, North Liberty. I can't wait to see where we go from here. Cheers to you, North Liberty. May the next hundred years be just as much fun and excitement as the past. Happy birthday. You're filling out, you're filling out, you're filling out, North Liberty. You're, you're not as trim as you used to be in your 20s. You're a bigger girl, full, robust. You're experienced. How about that one? You have a little chub on the side little junk in your trunk. I'm trying to say that North Liberty has grown, but really it's just as a metaphor as a woman who's aging. Ha ha! <laughs> My
My name is Bill Montgomery and I am with the Friends of the North Liberty Library. Uh, the Friends is an adjunct group, a uh, volunteer group that works with the library uh, in fundraising uh, and sponsoring uh, events that uh, the, I the library holds. We are in the Jardin Conference Room uh, in the Community Center at our annual Waffle Breakfast. The, the Waffle Breakfast is uh, set up uh, very easily. Uh, tickets are right now are seven dollars uh, per person. Five and under is free. Uh, people come into the door and they, uh, once they pay and get their ticket, they uh, receive a plate, then they walk through the receiving line where the waffles are freshly made and uh, the, along with that they get a couple of lit sausage links, then they have uh, juice and uh, coffee available as well. The, the waffles are actually, uh, we hire a company called Dad's Belgian Waffles and he is out of Algona, Iowa. We hope to have somewhere between three and four hundred people uh, each time. We, it's, a, it's a good event for us and uh, we just hope that people can come out and enjoy the day. The proceeds uh, go to the Friends uh, group, and then what we do is a committee uh, just kind of pass that money along to the library as needed. Uh, the library has their normal budget, but uh, as in all budgets, it can't cover everything. So the Friends group is there to help supplement the budget, uh, to help the library purchase items that they otherwise might not get, uh, be able to get. Uh, such as in the past, uh, we've purchased a people counter uh, for the library to help them get a more accurate count of uh, the number of patrons coming to the door. Uh, we've also uh, purchased the uh, genealogy programs for, uh, for patrons to use. And uh, we also sponsor or purchase uh, furniture items or other books uh, and things like this. Uh, one big one we did this year was the uh, a workstation for uh, the workplace uh, for, for people can come in and look for jobs at a particular workstation, but we do that as well. Computers, computer software, uh, items like that that are needed. The City of North Liberty is uh, very supportive of the library and uh, they're very good at attending library functions and doing what they can to help help with the library in, in any fashion. And I think that uh, support shown through uh, people coming and purchasing tickets for us. Being part of the Friends group is always enjoyable. Uh, it actually goes back several years when my kids were very little and uh, enjoyed going to the library. And uh, it's been great to watch the library expand uh, the way it has uh, and keep the, the you know, connections and friendships uh, in, in that way. Uh, but it, uh, even beyond just a library, it's a way to keep in touch with what's going on in the city and be part of the city of North Liberty that's uh, continually growing and really is a, a place for uh, uh, the community, uh, for its citizens and being community oriented.